Happy Halloween guys! We're back with the video I promised you at the beginning of the month. A showcase of some of my favorite hallowed form Pokemon designed by you guys. I just want to take this opportunity to gush about how proud I am of our little community of artists. You guys make me so happy when I see you sharing ideas and designs in our Discord. Honestly, it's more than I ever could have hoped for with this channel, and I hope you all continue with your work and to learn from one another as you grow. If you're not already part of our Subjectively Discord server but are looking for an awesome place to hang out and discuss art, video games, or other stuff, be sure to click on the link down in the description and join the crew. Now, for those of you just joining us, I recommend checking out the first two Hallowed Pokemon videos that I made. Basically, in the spirit of the Halloween season, I designed a couple of alternate forms for existing Pokemon to give them a festive new twist. I also created a new mechanic to explain how these Pokemon can be obtained. Check those videos out, the links will be down in the description. But today, I'm taking a break from designing and will instead share with you my favorite designs created by our fans and shared in our Discord server. There were so many amazing ideas in there and I wish I could talk about each and every one of them, but there's really just not enough time in the day. But keep up the good work, all of you, and enjoy my picks for my favorite Hallowed Pokemon fan designs in no particular order. Alright, the first design we're going to talk about today came from a Discord user named Trainer Cord. You can also find them on social media under the same name. They submitted this awesome hallowed Klefki design, and there was actually a handful of reasons why I picked this one for the video. First off, Klefki was actually requested by a couple of people in the comments of my first two hallowed Pokemon videos. Having a skeleton key Pokemon makes for a great concept, and it was executed flawlessly in this design. Second, it goes without saying that this artist nailed the contemporary Pokemon art style. This looked so authentic that I had to make sure that it didn't already exist. Honestly, based off of this piece, I would say that Trainer Cord does a better job at making convincing Fakemon than I do. And this includes the formatting and the graphic design they included with the piece. Set up like a social media promotion on the Pokemon's official Twitter, and topped off with an adorable border that really sells the whole Halloween festivity of the design. Presentation is everything. Take pride in your work, and even when you're designing a single character, consider how it will be presented to an audience. A little extra thought put into the composition of the piece as a whole goes a long way, and this one in particular really stood out to me amongst the other submissions. And of course, the design itself was both creative and cute as hell. Look at all the little ghost type keys it has, I, I love it, it makes me think about which doors each one unlocks. I love how creative the artist got with the designs of the keys themselves, using different elements of the inspiration Pokemon to make up the anatomy of each key. The best part is that in the shiny form, each key is colored in the scheme of its respective Pokemon shiny. It really amazing work. I hope to see more from Trainer Cord. Next up, I'd like us all to take a look at two different designs submitted by user Gartic2341. These guys caught my attention not just because of the designs themselves, but how they were rendered. It's been a long time since pixel art has been used in a core series Pokemon game, but it's always fun to get a little nostalgia trip from the old sprites. These two Pokemon, Breloom and Haunter, are not too complicated in their hallowed designs, but there's something charming about that simplicity. The colors in particular are really satisfying to me, the artist kind of hit every one of my favorite festive fall flares. Maybe this is more of a personal favorite, but either way, they brought a smile to my face. Nice work, Gartic! This next design was submitted by Discord user Matt4265. One of my friends on the server actually sent me this a few weeks ago and said, Look at how freaking cool this is, and I had to agree. Longtime fans of Subjectively will understand the polarizing effect that Raticate has on our friend group. Long story short, I hate it. But this hallowed form breathes new life into the concept in such a clever, exciting, and festive way. It just makes me so happy. Playing off of the urban legend of the Rat King, a supposed phenomenon wherein several rats become conjoined by the tail and eventually merge into a singular consciousness, this Raticate is equal parts cute, cool, and legitimately terrifying. Once again, the artist took into consideration how the designs would interact with the canvas as a whole, and positioning the mostly white characters on a deep purple background gave them a pop that was incredibly attention-grabbing. This aside, the rendering and concept execution was incredible. I especially like how the silhouettes for both forms remain more or less unchanged, and yet the entire design and concept has shifted entirely, in all of the right ways. It just goes to show you how even with a little more thought put into its design, Raticate could actually be a really cool Pokemon. Thank you, Matt, for giving this poor Pokemon hope. Now, let's brace ourselves for the most ambitious submission of them all. 
Most people designed Hello Forms for an evolutionary line of Pokemon. Some only did one. A few did more than a three designs, but one artist submitted eight different Pokemon designs. That's right, user Armageddon Gun has blessed us with a hallowed form for every evolution. Now, I would like to talk about each one of these individually, but it would be a little unfair for the other artists in this video if I spent that much time on just one submission. But what I'd like to discuss about each of these designs applies to the entire body of work as a whole, so we'll discuss it more generally. First of all, I love how these characters are rendered. It's not quite the official Pokemon style, but that's so fine. In fact, I really like that this artist decided not to limit themselves to what could or couldn't exist in an actual Pokemon game. After all, we're making these designs for ourselves, not for Game Freak. Breaking the conventions of traditional Pokemon design allowed this artist to create a set of cohesive character designs that look exciting, original, and dynamic. I love the different ways they reinterpreted each of the evolution's respective typing in a more haunted form. The Glaceon in particular is my favorite, adding a Plague Doctor-like mask and including wisps of billowing frozen air streaming from the body of the Pokemon itself. It's curious, as Glaceon in its normal form is actually my least favorite evolution. I also really appreciate how many colors they managed to incorporate into the set, considering all eight designs and how they would look when compiled together, instead of designing each Pokemon as a standalone character. After all, we like to picture the Evolution family as one big unit, so when redesigning all of them, why not make them look more cohesive? Outstanding work, Armageddon Gun. Be sure to check them out on DeviantArt under the same username. Now, let's talk about the work of user Chris Eli ABP. They submitted to us something that I was honestly not expecting when I thought about Hallowed Form Pokemon, a Hallowed Lombre. Now, actually, when I looked through the Discord server, there were actually a couple of Hallowed Blotad lines, but this Lombre in particular caught my attention. Once again, the artist put a lot of thought into the entire composition of their piece. The background, the layout of the text and imagery, everything was very neat and well put together. But of course, my favorite part was the design itself. Going for a more of a Day of the Dead Sugar Skull design and putting a morbidly brilliant twist on Lombre's Mexican origin of inspiration as the Pokemon lifts its own head off of its skeletal body. I love everything about this. The colors, the emotion in both the movement and design of the Pokemon, the conversion of its lily pad head into a candy bowl, and especially the artist's choice to render it in the old school Gen 1 and 2 Ken Sugimari style. We don't see this kind of blotted watercolor rendering in most Fakemon designs anymore. Most people go for the contemporary Pokemon rendering techniques a la Gen 7 and 8. But this adds a whole other level of charm to the design, and once again it helped this piece stand out among the crowd. I think we can all learn something from Chris. Don't be afraid to do things a little bit differently. Chances are it'll pay off in the end. Speaking of doing things differently, here's another off-styled hallowed Pokemon design. User Oregano Cure gave us this absolutely adorable set of hallowed Litwick, Lampet, and Chandelure. True, they're not rendered in the familiar Pokemon style, but the way the artist brought them to life with their colored line work and clean color fill style is so appealing to me that I almost want to take a bite out of them. Does that make sense? For my hallowed forms, I was avoiding Pokemon that were already ghost types, and if these were rendered in any other way, I might have ignored them but I am just such a sucker for adorable pumpkin designs, and it just works so well with this design that I almost wish this was their default form. The way the artists repose them so that they are grounded, supported by their vine tendrils rather than floating as if suspended in midair, it's just brilliant. Simple, but well executed. You have stolen my heart, Oregano Cure. Another artist that came at us with a handful of new designs goes by the username Arisa Manuko. I think what caught my attention most about this set of six new Hallowed Pokemon is the sheer variety in the Pokemon that they picked. Caterpie, Jirachi, Mineshao, Parasect, Volcarona, and Wormadam. A pretty obscure set of Mons, but regardless, they made it work and really flexed their creativity with these designs. Sure, a Jack-o'-lantern Chandelure might be an obvious idea when considering a Hallowed form design, but who would have come up with a Witch's Broom Wormadam? Not me, that's for sure. But this came out so well, it's almost an entirely new Pokemon. My favorite of the bunch has got to be Mineshao. Once again taking a Pokemon that I'm not super crazy about and reimagining it in an entirely new way. And again, the set looks good as a whole, as well as individually. The colors work well together, and have a unique desaturated spookiness to them. Great work, Orisa. Keep showing love to those Pokemon that so many of us tend to forget about. 
Speaking of forgettable Pokemon, user Soggy Zog gave me a whole new perspective on a Pokemon that I've forgotten about time and time again with their Hallowed Zeep Strika design. This was another very well rendered Pokemon. I love the ombre from black into the phantasmal blue green of the legs. The concept works on a couple of levels. It once again makes me think of the Day of the Dead with skeletal paint job on a living thing. It plays off of the zebra's black and white stripes in a lighthearted but macabre sort of way and also gives the impression of a cartoon character being electrocuted and having the audience see through it as if looking at an x-ray. Which of course makes sense considering Zebstrike's typing. Again, more or less a simple design, but executed in a really clever and thoughtful way. Well done Soggy Zog, great username too. And we're gonna wrap up the video with this half creepy, half cute Hallowed Amoongus, submitted to us by user Blacklight. Once again, if you've been with Subjectively for a long time now, you may remember our attempts at improving Amoongus's design for our top 5 worst Gen 5 Pokemon video. I'm not crazy about Amoongus, but this could honestly work as a hallowed form or a complete redesign of the Pokemon. Obviously, it leans more into the creepy side with its hollow black eyes and bulbous red protuberances, but that's fungus stuff. I mean, if I were to take a guess, I'd say that the artist was basing its design off of the Hidnellum pecky or the bleeding tooth fungus. Gross, right? But appropriate for both a haunted mushroom Pokemon or just a mushroom Pokemon in general. And once again, I feel compelled to applaud Blacklight for formatting their design with a simple but effective backdrop and for considering text layout. I'll emphasize again how important it is in everyone's art. And for the third time today, I thank you Subjectivists for helping me reimagine Pokemon designs I previously did not like and giving them new life in my eyes. Alright guys, that is it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a happy and safe Halloween. It's been an incredible October and though the month is over, I hope that you all continue to create and share. There's really nothing better for an improving artist than a strong community. Happy Halloween and I'll see you all in the next video.